Welcome to Memorial Stadium and the sea of red in the heartland of Lincoln, Nebraska. An uncommon place and home to an uncommon program with a championship pedigree. A Big Ten showdown coming conference games where the results will stick with you for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the UCLA Bruins taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Bruins offense takes the field for the first time today. And there he is. When you build a tight end, you'd build one just like this, especially with those reliable mitts, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, he makes big plays in big games. Watch for him on third down in the red zone. He has a chance to leave an impact in this game. Well, it's so nice to have such a big body that when he's covered, he's open, right? Like, it doesn't matter because he's got great hands and that big frame he can really utilize. And the Bruins will hustle to the line. Trying play action. He's got his man. They get him down after he makes the catch. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. He's going to look for a man on third and short. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. The Bruins will send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Slips through the line. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. The Cornhuskers offense will get the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, the, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They think there's room to run to the right here. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Well, when you talk Nebraska football, it always comes down to their ability running it on offense, whether it's the option or whether it's conventional. They've got a long and illustrious history of great running backs, and this guy is on the field for a reason. His vision, his ability to make people miss, run with toughness, he can do it all. From the gun, running back on the move. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. On the run, it's Irvin. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Let's see what they do here on third and short from the 41. Snagged in the middle. It's Nair. Just what they'd hoped for on third down as 
as they've got a first at the 32. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. You saw it right there on that one. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Running back goes in motion. Scanning the field, it's Rayola. Working the middle, it's complete. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. You got a man. It's Fredo. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. I think the great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end. Throws a strike. Gets the first down. They keep attacking through the air. He caught it. They will score. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. They score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time. But when you can use their big body frames, threaten them to run the football, be a blocker in the running game, and now you slip into the secondary, make that big play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the move from inside is 5. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. How about this crowd rattling the rafters and trying to help their defense? Just a pickup of a couple out to the 15-yard line. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. And the Bruins want to crank the tempo. To the air, it's Garbers. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it at the last minute. Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. They've got them then deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. The Bruins will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for, but a flag is on the field. Let's see what that's about. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Trying to find his man on first down. Going for the big play. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. 
Man, if you're going to win games, you have got to hit on the home run type plays, and that was a great opportunity right there. The receiver has got to be able to look that football in and make the catch. Couldn't make the play last time. Now it's second and 10 from the 30. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. Makes one man miss. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And the Bruins come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. The Bruins in the hurry up. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Dropping back, it's Garbers trying to get to it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Great job by the defense there. They weren't surprised by that play call there on third and short. They were expecting pass. They took everything away and forced the incompletion. And the Bruins decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt goes out of bounds. We'll see where the officials spot it, but they certainly gave them no opportunity for a return. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line, pick up a four. And it's just simple, simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Fast motion from the offense. Looking for the corner on the jet sweep. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And a great job seeing the motion coming across the formation, understanding the jet sweep's a possibility, pulling the trigger, going and getting the guy on the ground. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. Maybe some confusion on the snap count. It's going to be a false start. False start. False start. False start. False start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. And the misconnection on third down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. The Cornhuskers line up to punt it away. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. The offense set for a first down play. He's going to pass. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Just making life miserable for opposing quarterbacks the way Trev Alberts always did. Yeah, just finding a guy that can sniff out the quarterback and kind of feel it, have those instincts. You could tell he saw it, went and got it, just like your boy Trev Alberts was. And 
They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. The give out of the gun. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. The Bruins want to move quickly. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble and down he goes. A tremendous loss. Man, that's a great example of KYP. Know your personnel. A QB that doesn't run great, trying to get outside of the pocket. Nice job by the defense applying pressure and running him down and getting the huge loss. And the Bruins send out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Dropping back, it's Rayola. He looks that one in nicely. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Here's the snap, looking to throw. Makes the grab. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Huskers will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. And they're able to get him down. These are the ones in the stands where you get booed if it doesn't work. Why would you run the ball in second and long? You stink, OC. Or you get the big applause and you're like, yes, nice job. Keeping the manageable third down situation. Good call. So tough spot to be in in second and long. Nice answer. Nice run by the running back. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. The Bruins will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Good job by the coverage team, and that's how we'll end the period. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Nebraska is on top. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. The run from the shotgun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. 
Got three on first down at second and seven. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Pressure coming. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Quarterbacks need time when they're in the pocket to complete throws. That QB had no shot after taking that hit. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. To throw, it's Rayola. Coming after it. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. The Huskers will bring the punt team onto the field. They'll look to pin them deep. Fair catch called for and made around the 20-yard line. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a ton of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board and let's see less of the punter. The play action fake. Looking left. Got his man all by himself. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. And the Bruins racing to the line in the hurry up. He'll come out throwing on first down. Flushed out of the pocket. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built a lead. We'll see if they can get a little better protection after the sack at second and 12. Back to throw, it's Garbers. Unloads it left. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Now, and that's your goal, separate man from ball. Try to get your shoulder in there on the catch point and really make give him something to think about. Physically jar that football and knock it out. Nice job on the defender. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. The Bruins will call on their punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple of throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. They'll try the run. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I know the passing game sells. The passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. 
Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll try the left side. Bulls his way forward. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, there's the offense trying to take advantage of this running back speed. I like the call. Hand off to the left, to the outside. Put him in space and let him go to work. The Cornhuskers getting set on first and ten. Using his feet. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Husker! One of the things I love about this QB as a runner is not just his athleticism, but how tough he is. He can run in between the tackles in the middle of the field, push the pile, break tackles. Linebackers are trying to bring him down. He just keeps his feet driving. That is impressive. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And it was capped off with an impressive 16-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Oh, it goes right through his hands, and he will think about that one for a while. It'll be third down. We're trying to hit the out route to the perimeter of the field. It's a good route by the wide receiver. He just drops the ball. So what do they have for third and short from their own 23? Looking for a man, it's Garbers. Right down the middle. Wide open downfield. Coming through that third down conversion and they'll mark it at the 43. Well look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting to his progression. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And the Bruins want to pick up the tempo. Now they'll run the draw. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. And oftentimes running backs love draw runs because there's less traffic in front of them. The offensive line is selling pass, the quarterback selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last possible second. So the D-line's rushed way upfield. And now it's so much easier for these backs to find their holes and pick their lanes. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. The Bruins will punt this one away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. 
They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, the offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll keep it himself. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Good timing on the quick out. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big-time playmaker outside picks up the first. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Leaves it with the running back. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Looking downfield, it's Rayola. Soft spot in the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Defense is throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. And the Huskers are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air. And offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. Offense walks through the line for play number seven of the drive. He's looking for a man on second down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Nebraska! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And they finish things off with a 44-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. And the Bruins come to the line in the hurry up. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. 
quick completion on the out. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. Just not able to shake enough defenders and comes up a little bit short. And I think a lot of times on third down, Reese, you bet on your guy. When you're an offensive guy, you say, okay, he's going to break a tackle. He's going to get north and south and somehow get the first down. Nice tackling by the defense, understanding where they had to get to and forcing the fourth down. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and next. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Good pass protection isn't just offensive line, right? Running backs also have to be able to pick up the blitz. That running back did an outstanding job. That allowed his quarterback to just buy a little bit more time before making that throw. That is a highly efficient way to move the chains, and now they are threatening inside the 40. We'll give him a couple on that with second and eight coming up. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. And here comes the offense on second down. Back to throw, it's Rayola. He's got his man. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays. The quarterback in his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. The Huskers with the first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. And his throw is incomplete. Not sure exactly what went haywire there, but the timing was just off. And that's your job as a defense, right? you got to find a way to disrupt the timing and jam wide receivers or get to the quarterback and make him feel uncomfortable. But you can't let that timing be easy and effortless. Nice job by the defense. He wants to pass it on second down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. They were really starting to put a drive together, but after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Pocket starts to collapse. Any way you can in your freshman season at quarterback, and he gets it done on the ground. Man, that's so frustrating. It happens so fast. He just pulls it down. It looks like pass. He pulls it down, and he's gone. Just like that, chewing up yards. So much speed, so hard to stop. It's first and 10 from the 13. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. And he's got it! Touchdown, Cornusker! They say there's no more loyal fan base than the one at Nebraska. Well, this guy is becoming their hero in this performance. And Nebraska fans have a special place in their heart for a quarterback that can run it, they can throw it, show you all the dimensions of their game because they've had so many great ones in the past. And this guy, he looks like the future. up for the PAT. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. A 69-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. 
Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it, because you've dug yourself a significant hole. So what do they have for third and short from their own 23? Looking to throw, it's Garbers. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Now on first down from the 28. He's looking to throw it. Makes a grab over the middle. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They've been very sharp on this drive so far. Now first and ten from the 43. Man, it's so important when you play QB. I got to know when to put some air on it, and I got to know when to rocket that thing in there. Work in the middle of the field. He knew he needed the rocket. Threw it in there. Great job. Great catch. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Completion a little short of the sticks. It's second down. They'll run play action. Incomplete. And he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic. Fortunate to get it back. Great coverage, great break of the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. But you got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. In the dead center of the field as they try to convert this third and short. Finds a tight end. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. And there's a great example of living to play another day. QB in the pocket, nobody open, throw it out of bounds. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. To the air, it's Garbers. A shot toward the end zone. And the throw downfield winds up incomplete, and there's a good reason for that. This guy was being mugged by the defender. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught it. He got it. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. At the end of the second quarter, that means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in Lincoln. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. The Bruins will kick it off to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect him. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Here's the handoff. Can't get him to the ground. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Keep it on the ground. Cornhuskers get enough for the first down. Offensively, uh, are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. And the Huskers will have it first and ten. Movement here from the tight end. The give to the tailback. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Back to the ground with the running back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Got it in the middle. It's Nair. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course he said the open one, but we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously the politically correct answer, but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Zone coverage that time in the cornerback. A nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. He sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Looking to throw, it's Rayola. Fires to the middle. Complete downfield. And he's brought down after a nice game. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. The sure hands, it's Nelson. And he's brought down after a nice game. Oh, that's really nice catch by the big tight end. Throwing those mitts up there, catching the football. On first down from the 13-yard line. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On the run, it's Urban. Oh. Baird is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Now the play fade. He caught it. Touchdown, Husker. And the route is on. This 
game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You better change the address and do something different. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good. It put one more on the lead. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Back to throw, it's Garbers. Zings it complete to the right. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Off play action. Got room at the 35. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. That is a tremendous job by the defender on that play because when the ball was thrown, his head was turned around. He was watching the receiver, quickly spun the head, turned his shoulder, located the ball, and then knocked it down. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Snags it over the middle. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. This receiver is such a weapon, and he has so much speed. And he can generate explosive plays for your offense, not just running go routes and post routes, but how about throwing him the drag, letting him catch it, and use his speed to turn it upfield. And the Bruins are moving quickly down the field. To the ground with the back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. Back to pass, it's Garbers. Got his man quickly. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. They're trying to get to it. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. And it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. The Bruins will send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. Make sure he doesn't get backed up any further signals for and makes the fair catch at the 10. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. 
So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Almost had the completion, just missed it. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat-out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. To the air, it's Rayola. Using the quick game. And he converts on third down as he gets it out to the 26. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. The Huskers will snap it on first and 10. Leaves it with the back. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Looking for a crease to the left. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things to build off of. And maybe that's something they can point to as they get ready for their next opponent of things they did right and things that they got to do more consistently moving forward. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator nuts. A lot of DCs, they focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they are going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Using his leg to Turbin, he works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. It's a draw. Runs through the tackle. Not much room. A pickup of two down to the 28. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Grabbed over the middle. It's Cadeau. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. And after yet another third down conversion, they've got it first and goal. Snags it! Touchdown, Nebraska! And the punishment has been extended. He has been... Surgical precision passes using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for him. Just uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense.
lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. This should be the last play of the quarter. They'll give it to the back. Fighting off the defender. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Back to pass, it's Garbers. Gonna let it fly. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. It's really hard to win football games when you're one-dimensional offensively, and that's the case. They just have not been able to get anything going, throwing it deep down the field. They haven't won their one-on-one -on -one matchups. Quarterback has missed some throws, and as a result, in the fourth quarter, they barely have 100 yards passing, and that's why they're losing. And they can't make the connection on third down. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Fires left. And it's swatted away. It's a turnover on downs. First down here for the offense. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Banks. Makes a grab. Defense right there. And they are set up at the 14. And man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. He's going to pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Looking downfield, it's Rayola. He wants it all. Touchdown, Cornhuskers! And the beatdown has ensued. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Just a second, the official's going to take a second look at this one. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. UCLA will go back to work on offense. 
And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, a lot of things haven't gone right for him. You saw an incompletion right there. It's been offense. It's been defense. They just haven't been able to click and get into a rhythm here. And now they're playing catch up. And you know they're going to be throwing at each and every play here in the fourth quarter. And now on second down for this offense. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. He's going for the big play. It's complete. A huge pickup. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. Well, if you could give a helmet sticker to this defensive coaching staff, they would get one because of the plan they've had for this guy at wide receiver. He is one of the best in the entire country with his speed and his athleticism, but they have had a plan for him. Whether it's man coverage, zone, they've been able to double him, they've been able to change up the looks, and they have not been able to get him involved in the game, and that's why they're going to win this one. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. They're going to throw it again. Got it behind the line. It's hardened. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. You know, that's one as a quarterback. When you see all those defenders around your intended target like that, just throw it in the ground or throw it away. I mean, that's a completion that loses yards. You're just hurting your offense. This is a third and long. Wants to throw. It's Garbers. Throws to the wideout. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback and this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync, and that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute it. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. From the gun. Leaves it on the inside with the back. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. That is just demoralizing if you're on defense, right? You're down in the game. It's the fourth quarter. You know you need to get a stop. And you know you, they're going to run the ball, but you can't do anything about it. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. At the 35, he's loose. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. No surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. The Cornhuskers have it with a first and 10. The handoff to Johnson. Fight to crease at the 20. They make the stop, and this running game moves the change as they get the first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance, and, and right here just choose up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. Right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fellow. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. Looking to throw, it's Rayola. Makes the grab. Touchdown, Husker. And the pummeling has started. 
and this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conservative because this offense obviously has had themselves a day, and apparently their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. Lining up to add another. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Less than a yard to go to pick up the first down. He wants to throw here on second down. Trying to get rid of it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. This offensive line is not going to like watching the film back uh, tomorrow when they get the opportunity because they have got beat time and time again up front, especially in passing situations. All of the hits, all of the sacks that this quarterback has taken is the biggest reason why they're going to lose this game. Wants to throw one third down. He wants to take the top off. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Well, that incompletion really tells the story of this football game. If you don't score touchdowns, it's really hard to win games. They haven't found themselves in the end zone at all in this game. Throwing it, running it, they have been completely dominant. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. On the ground, it's Irvin. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. They'll try to run for it. Makes his man miss. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. And the Huskers have it with a first and 10. To the ground. He's got it again. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Give to the running back. Gives him the big stiff arm. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really 
put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. You have a big lead in the fourth quarter. When you do that, the only explanation for it is you're trying to send a message by sticking in another touchdown. Yeah, and saying, listen, it's your job to stop us, and right now we're eating you alive. So I think, you know, there's, there's some psychological warfare, right? There's some, I'm going to get in your head. There's some, I want to beat you on a recruiting trail in, in the future, and, you know, kind of take that and you know, we'll rub their nose in it. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there. A similar situation with a lead like this. Uh, they'd definitely be running the ball at this point. Uh, they'd probably take their starting quarterback out of the game, potentially, but not this unit. They are still staying aggressive. They're still taking shots. They're just trying to light up the scoreboard. The give to the back. Just having these dudes bounce off of him like popcorn. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave a little bit of everything on that one. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead, you want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. They're just imposing their will, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska! And the stomping has commenced. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. So that's a 60-yard touchdown drive. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. UCLA will go back to work on offense. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the... Looking for a deep man. Makes the grab down the left side. Nothing but green ahead. And he'll take it in for the touchdown. It won't have much impact on the outcome of the game, but it is a fabulous parting gift, a consolation prize, if you will. And this has been a rough day for this offense. And finally, some good things to happen. Build some momentum maybe for the future. You know, that's, that's the way the coaches spin it when you're getting beat up and you're getting destroyed. Like, listen, let's find something for the future. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep working. This team's done that. Put some points on the board. So it's not all bad. Getting set for the point after. Splits the uprights. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They move the tight end all over. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. All the way out to the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 15. 
This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. They're going to ride this running back. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And the defense down in this game, they just can't do anything to stop this offense at this point, David. Right now, they know they're going to be trying to run the football and try and ice the game, but there's nothing at this point it seems they can do. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I got to sell out, man. I got to bring as many guys to the line of scrimmage as I can. I got to find a way to get this ball back to my offense. The, the clock is not my friend, and then running the football is only going to run this thing out quicker. i got to find a way to make something happen, strip the football, do something. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of delay game. game. Offense. offense. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flag. Running back searching for a hole. Shakes off the defender. He was able to reach into his bag of tricks and use it to pick up a few extra yards. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've, had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch. It. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense. One last incompletion and that'll do it. 